I'm Joe from Joe's Collector's Corner. Welcome back to another video. We're facing the other direction. There's a very specific reason for that. And it's the fact that this car boot was absolutely insane. We've bought the, the most amount of items we've ever bought and spent the most amount of money we've ever spent. And I physically can't get to my desk to film the normal kind of video. And going through all these items one by one would just be insane. And it would probably be an hour long video and we'd not even get to what's sold this week. I think we best turn the camera around. We'll have to do a, a bit of a, a worse format video and just kind of pan over things and go through it. We'll try and get through it all. And then if you're interested to see what sold this week, that'll come through at the end of the video. It was a really quiet week. There was quite a few sales on Sunday and then one sale between Monday and Friday morning, one sale. And then luckily Friday and Saturday, maybe five or six sales, some of them nice ones, some of them really recent pickups too. So it is quite interesting to see what sold. Let's get straight into everything we bought today. In total, we spent £121, which is not a lot for some people that do this full time, but that's definitely pretty much double what I would normally spend. And we've probably brought in about double the amount of items. With Christmas coming up and car boots getting worse and worse, this was probably the perfect time to pick up this amount of stock. And hopefully it'll push us through in the winter months when we're not picking up as many items. Yeah, it should be a good one. So let's not hang about. I've got you on ultra wide so we can see as much as possible. My knees are kind of at the bottom, but it's not the end of the world. So this is everything we bought. We spent £121 and we have got a heck of a lot of listing to do. But some of it is, you know, our easy bread and butter, typical kind of pickups. Some of them are complete guesses that I've still not researched. And other ones are just kind of guaranteed decent profit to be made. So let's start over here on the bottom right then, and we'll go through some small little bread and butter items. We picked up two pairs of Haviana flip-flops sandals, pound a pair. They're a bigger size, so we're probably going to be able to average about £10, eight to £10 a pair on them. We bought a pair of Casio calculators. Again, these were a pound each. This one tends to get 10 to £12 on its own. And then I found one brand new and sealed. Never had that before. Hopefully be worth 15 quid. No idea on the brand of these. These are Carhu, kind of like trail running trainers. There might be value in Carhu, I have no idea. It might be a USA brand. I, it just stood out to me. The colours were cool and I'd never ever heard of that size. They do have a UK 7.5 US 10 size. It does start with US 10, so I'm guessing it's a US brand. I've got no idea about these ones, but they're the first pair of Nike ice skates I've ever had. The Nike Ignite or Air Ignite one it says there, which I searched on eBay and I couldn't find the exact model. It says ZM Air on the back. Really cool, really nice. For the price I paid, I definitely think I'm going to be making some money in them. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I recently sold a pair of these in a UK 4.5. These are a UK 4, but the condition is even better than before. I think we got $29.99 plus postage, so hopefully we can do the same thing again. We've got this really nice pair of Nikes. I've got no idea what they are. It's Nike Zoom, but they're just a really bizarre looking pair of trainers, like proper weird. But when it, when it comes to high-end Nikes, you know, the weirder the better really. And I just thought I couldn't pass up on those. They need a bit of a clean, but I think I'll be able to get that out. And yeah, just a really weird, cool looking pair of Nikes. We then bought our first pair of in good condition, modern bauer ice skates really small size but they are bauer vapor elites and again four quid i think i paid on these i just couldn't pass them up the condition is immaculate the only bowers i've picked up before that are vintage figure skate pairs and they're all basically sat in the car boot pile because i either couldn't figure out the date at uh, the date i couldn't figure out the size of them and the condition was just not there we then picked up everybody's favorite ebay item a circulation booster I paid up on this, I paid £10, and it's not one of the great ones. You're looking at about £40 plus postage if you're lucky. That's what we'll be aiming for. It's in good condition. I'll take some nice pictures and hopefully we can get £40 to £45 on that. We picked up a pair of Thunderbirds. These are probably going to be a fail, but I had to pick them up just because of how cool they were. This is the standard number two. It's missing the little guy inside and the battery cover, but... It's clean enough, and I got it in a bundle with this, where somebody has custom painted 
Thunderbird 3. And to be fair, I just think it, I just thought it looked really cool. He told me he did this for a university project and then COVID hit and it just never came to light. So he was either going to photo scan it and use it in film or possibly use it as some kind of animation, stop motion animation, something like that. But yeah, I thought this was awesome. We'll probably bundle them together and maybe make a bit of profit that way. More shoes. I picked these up because of how weird they were. I just wondered what brand they were and then noticed the night tick on the back and they're a pair of women's golf shoes. Really good condition. She used them a couple of times and to be fair, I believe her. Rubber bottom, they're the modern kind. Really nice. We bought a pair of Vans. I got them just because they were the checkered ones and they stood out and the condition of the soles were great. Looking at the back now, it's actually missing the vans off the wall, but they have obviously been worn. So I don't know whether these are obvious fakes or whether the condition has just worn them away, but it looks like it's pretty much never even been printed on the back. So that'll be interesting to find out if they're fake or not. If they are, I'll chuck them in the loft for the car boot. These are really cool and I've still not found the exact model sold on eBay. These are a pair of Timberland Earth Keepers, I think they're called. Earth Keepers, waterproof, I'm guessing the snow boots, I think that's probably the term that you'd use. They've got a cool, instead of vibrant soles, they've got something else on the bottom. Uh, green rubber, I don't know if it's a Timberland thing, but it's got a nice little badge on the back and on the sole. Again, they're a small women's size, I think, but they're just a really cool pair of boots. For £2.50, I was not going to leave these behind. Nike Air Pegasus. Um, 28s these are. They're like, I think they're like a trail running kind of shoe. Really cool. Good condition overall. There's a little nick on the fabric there, but I don't really think it's going to hamper the sale. Probably looking at 25 to 28 on them. Really nice. Really clean. I'm just falling over myself now. This sold for us the other week in about two days. We bought one again, paid up, paid four pounds. It's fully working. I know it's at least worth 23, so can't go wrong with that. We bought a bundle of Ben 10 stuff now. We bought the rust bucket with no accessories. Not really that good, probably about eight pound plus postage, but I think we paid eight pound for all of it. So my idea is that my money's safe there. And then I've got this cool light up Omnitrix where you kind of pick your character and it all lights up. And then this one here where you push this button and two of these little characters that can sit on top kind of pop out and transform. And I just thought that was really different. Not had any Ben 10 stuff yet. Used to watch it as a kid. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> one of them <laughs> is the other ones there, look. So I thought it was worth a go. It might be worthless, but you never know. My money's safe in the rust bucket, so it was worth a gamble. We've got two plush. I don't tend to pick up plush, but we've got a Monsters Inc. or Monsters University. And then the green M&M woman from M&M World. Uh, we'll go over to this other plush. We've actually got a Honey Monster tag. Uh, it's from, is it PMS? I think it's the, um, yeah, amusement only. But yeah, new and tag's pretty cool. We've got a Logitech G512 SE mechanical keyboard. Really nice condition. Probably 30 to 35 pounds on that one. We've got a Polaroid camera and we've got a video baby monitor, but I'm pretty sure they've either used it once or it's brand new and they retail for £90. So I definitely think we're going to make some money on that. We've got a super old school VTEC power pad. Um, really nice condition with the box. Um, hopefully a bit of profit in there. I think we'll probably get 20 to 25 on that. It's one of them items where VTEC, I know it's not worth a lot of money and I didn't check it at the time. I just saw how old the kid, like the photo is on the front and thought if she's guaranteeing it's working or wants to show me it working, there's probably a bit of money in there to be made. We bought this really nice Paddington mirror. I've never bought anything like this. This is really not my kind of thing, but you know, Paddington bear, super popular. And you know, with the queen passing away recently and Paddington kind of being a big thing at her, um, a jubilee i thought it was probably worth a punt and it is super vintage really cool hopefully i don't break it and hopefully if i sell it i can package it safely we bought a pair of jurassic world raptor claws i've still got the huge pair that i've got but these are the smaller more modern 2017 versions i'm not sure if they're meant to make sounds or have batteries but i've got no idea how you even 
change them or test them not a clue at all but they're real they've got the stamp yeah for a couple of quid definitely picking them up we've got a homer simpson santa claus with christmas coming up i thought it's time to start looking for some weird and wonderful decorations that we could potentially make some money on and i definitely think if i can get this guy working i just need to open the battery compartment because it is um it's got a screw through it so hopefully if it's not corroded and it's working there'll be some good money in that we bought another aqua play set the same one as last time um, I didn't check it this time because I just really couldn't be bothered. I think I got nearly £50 for the last one. It turns out there was one bit missing. I think it was that pump there on the last one. So on this one, I'll triple check it. And if anything's missing, I'll try and list it for a little bit less with, you know, 95% or something like that. 95% complete. We bought three JVC DV60 tapes. A decent um, pickup. Cost me a couple of quid worth about 12 two monster high uh, monster high two monster jam trucks i got these because they were kind of unique i got them from different sellers i think 50p in a pound or 50p each i got this cool fire truck and then a batman one which you know is a bit unique and if they've not got individual value then i'll bundle them together i guess uh just a typical need for speed undercover with manual Paid a pound. Hopefully there's a little bit of profit in that. The box is pretty knackered. Hopefully we've got a spare PS2 box. We probably have, so I'll swap them over. And finally, um, this is, again, no idea on this, but it is super cool. It is a made in USA and bought from the USA commemorative, uh, commemorative plaque. Limited edition, New York Yankee Stadium. Proper MLB stuff. It's distributed by an American company called Sports Furniture Inc. And I think on the back, it tells you where they're based. It's brand new and sealed. There's a slight tear in the front, which is a shame, but it will have just been, you know, from it being transported. There you go. Made in New York City, 2008. Really cool. But yeah, super chuffed with that. I bought it in a big bundle of items. I think including the Paddington mirror, some plush and some other bits and bobs. I think even the VTEC came from that. But yeah, really chuffed. So that is everything we bought. It is a huge mess. In fact, it's not everything we bought. We bought some clothing. How could I forget clothing, of course? We bought three items. We bought a massive Doncaster Rovers, um, kind of like manager's winter coat. With winter coming up, it might sell. I've never bought Doncaster Rovers stuff and there's probably no value in it. But for the price I paid, it was worth a go. I think the other thing that's helping me is that it's something like a quadruple xl 4xl and you know that kind of stuff sells really well at a premium on ebay we then also bought a manchester united home kit as a leeds fan this is probably the worst thing to have in my house and i shouldn't but it's a 4xl so i was definitely not leaving that behind finally we've got this nike dry fit kind of running gym wear if there's no value in it and it fits me i'll wear it to the gym if not, we can always take it to the car boot, but it's in really good condition, size large, and it's just a really cool, interesting design. So that's everything that we bought this week. We're back to the normal angle to run through everything that sold this week. Like I said, it was a lot quieter, but looking at the numbers, we actually didn't do that bad. And to be fair, six months ago, this would have been like the best week I've ever had. So all in all, I'm still very happy. We've had two sales on Vinted, totaling £40.98 pence. And then 11 sales on eBay, totaling £284.32. And then we've also got two more sales waiting for payment. And that totals around £100. So actually, if they go through, it's been a really good week. So let's start off with Vinted. We sold a Paw Patrol little figure, brand new in the box. That went for £9.99 all in. And then we sold the really nice pink pair of Nike Air Max 90s from the other week. They were the white, pink and grey ones. They're called Nike Air Max 90 Essentials, and they went on offer for £30.99. On eBay, they would have been listed for £32 plus postage. So on Vinted, I've made more money with no fees at £30.99, so I was really happy with that. eBay, first things first, on the Sunday we sold a pair of men's sketches, uh, leather trainers, bought from a charity shop months ago, been sat around for ages, and then randomly went for full price. They went for £23.00 and 49 pence all in we sold a pair a pair we sold a pack of 20 um 
floppy disks, the mini ones, brand new and sealed. That went for $15.99 all in. We sold a personal PS4 game from when we bought our console years ago. This was Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. That went for $12.99 all in. Uh, we sold one of our very last Harry Potter figures, Eagle Moss figures. It was the Jacob Kowalski one. That went for £9 all in. We've basically got one left. These are just kind of the dregs of that huge bundle that we had. So we've got £9 on that one. We then sold one of the EE signal boxes from the last video. Turns out they are obsolete and this is already on its way back. But it went for £38.99 all in. Basically, they were, they were worth a fortune. And then in June, EE stopped supporting them. You basically plug them in at home and it creates a 3G hotspot to for like a home office or something like that. They dropped support in June, so now they're worthless and you can kind of use them as tinkering projects. So this one is on its way back. In the description, all of this was stated and in the offer they sent or the offer I accepted, all of this was stated and they still tried it and returned it anyway. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. We've sold another one of them today for next week, but that went on offer for £15 all in. And he knew that these weren't working and he's going to try and do some kind of project with it. So with any luck, that one won't be returned, but it probably will. They cost us a tenner for the pair. We'll take them to the car boot if we can't get rid of them. We then sold Lego Jurassic World on the PS3. That went for $6.99 all in. We sold Constantine, the video game. This was a sealed random PS2 game that I picked up a couple of months ago or maybe a month or two ago. That went on offer for £17.95 all in. The really cool pair of Nike Air Vapor Max have gone. They're in a bag behind me, ready to be packaged up. Never had Vapor Max before, and I paid up for these. I paid 15 quid, but I just really wanted a pair because I thought there'd be some value in them. And there was. If the condition was better, they'd probably be worth another 20, 30 quid. But we got £63.49 for them all in, which is pretty good, especially when they're size 5.5. So, yeah, 65 quid nearly for pair of trainers that I paid 15 for is still a really good markup. The first Skylanders bundle is gone. We sold Skylanders Imaginators and then a couple of figures with it that went for £25.48 all in. And if you remember from the last video, or I think it was the last video, we bought all of the Skylanders and all of the Lego games for 15 quid. And we've already sold one Lego game and one set of Skylanders and we've made over 30 on that. So it's going to be a good return. We sold the air fryer from the last video that went for £31 all in. And finally, again from the last video, in fact the same table, we sold the Coca-Cola Polar Bear mini fridge, fully working, really cool, that went for £38.95 all in. So that's everything that we've sold on eBay. In terms of what's waiting payment, we sold the, it's somewhere over there, it's the pop figure um, mount, something, the Disney theme park pop figure, the big one, that is, I think it's the Matterhorn, that's waiting for payment. But he said he's not going to be able to pay for it for two weeks. So it's one of them where if a week goes by, I think I'm just going to relist it because it will never happen. And then we've also sold the 2DS boxed because the buyer wanted to know if the game came pre-installed. I managed to get on the Wi-Fi and re-download it from the shop. It's fully working. He then instantly bought it, but still hasn't paid for it. And it's been about 24 hours, but he was really excited and really wanted the game with uh, the console with that game installed. And it's there. So I'm going to keep pestering him and hopefully he can pay and then I can actually ship it out tomorrow with all the other items. But yeah, still a really good week. You know, we're, we're over £300. What are we at? It was a £325 week plus 100 if the other items get paid for. So really happy with that still. It was a lot less in quantity, but luckily at the, the end of the week, we had like three or four high ticket items go out. So it was still really, you know, a really profitable week. God knows what's going to happen next week because of the uh, sheer amount of stuff we've, we've bought. But I think what I'm going to have to do is just kind of separate some of this stuff out and list it a bit more slowly and probably have to have to build up a bit of a death pile, which I don't want to do. But there's just too much stuff. So I'm going to keep, you know, working through it. Might try and get some of the high ticket items on as soon as possible to try and make my £120 back and then just keep putting more and more on. And there's some toys in here. There's some games there's some tech things. So hopefully with Christmas coming up, this kind of stuff is going to be what people want to buy. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I rushed through it and it was a terrible angle trying to show you everything that we bought. I much prefer sitting here and pulling items out, but I just couldn't get to my desk. There was too much stuff in the way and a lot of big items to pick up. So yeah, 
hopefully if I buy less we'll do it the normal way but hopefully you still saw everything I bought and I'll stop saying the word hopefully so thank you all for watching I hope you had a good week if you bought anything cool let me know in the comments or send me a picture on Instagram it's at Joe's Collector's Corner I'll see you all in the next one